Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is very, very special to me because as I film this, it is Thanksgiving morning. About two years ago, my boyfriend and I started this tradition where we create care packages and give them to the homeless in our community. The first year we did it, it affected me so much seeing how grateful they were to just have a positive human interaction. And after every single conversation I had, I was just an absolute mess. So I've decided that this will be a tradition that I carry out with my family every year that I can. For those of you that don't know, I live in a small city called Coachella. I did a little bit of research and according to a 2017 news article that I found, there is a count of 2,413 people that are homeless in the Riverside County and nearly 500 of those people reside in the Coachella Valley. I also learned that there was an increase of 37.3% in homeless population in my city alone. While I was driving around to get some footage of my community, I learned something that was even more heartbreaking. We drove past like a desert empty lot area and there was a bunch of tents set up. It looked like a way tinier version of LA's homeless epidemic. And if you know what that looks like, it's absolutely heartbreaking and terrifying to know that there are that many homeless people out there. I have never seen it this bad in my city before and the numbers just keep increasing. I'm not rich and I'm just one person, but I've always believed that giving to people in need and loving your neighbors is the only way to get through this life. The world is nothing without unity, kindness, and love. And since I always preach this, I'm definitely going to practice it today. So our adventure begins with the little shopping I did the day before. If you guys are interested in creating your own care packages, I'll leave some links below to how you can choose items that are appropriate to give away. By the end of it all, we racked up a total of $38, which isn't too bad considering we'll be helping four people in need today. Once we got home, it was time to start assembling the bags. Huge thank you to my sister-in-law for helping me pack. So now that I've caught you up to present time, it's time to head in the car, drive around, and give these bags to someone in need. Let's go. <laughs> these are really heavy. <laughs> So there's this guy that I always see on this one specific corner of the street. He's there like almost every day and I pass by whenever I'm going to school or work. And obviously I give money whenever I can, but the past couple times I've passed by there, I haven't had cash on me. So I saw him like on this other corner and I obviously don't wanna like put the camera in his face. So I'm just, we'll see how this goes, but he's with someone else. So I'm gonna take two bags um, and let's see how this goes. Happy Thanksgiving. 
<laughs> You're welcome. Take care. God bless. One more bag. As I get older, I realize the importance of simplicity. I realize that material things don't matter as much and that all you really need is love. Whether that come from family or a lover or anything else under the sun. I know it might not always feel like it, but every day is a blessing. Doing this tradition has taught me to be thankful of the little things and not take daily luxuries for granted. It's taught me that no matter how little you have, you can always help others. Laugh, love, share, give, and be thankful.